Hi, my dear students. This record is about array copy process, uh, first in AutoCAD and then in Inventor, but 3D environment. Okay. Now let us see that it is true. Well, array copy process is applicable for creating the identical copies of an already created one in 3D environment as well. Okay, start. Yes, this is AutoCAD and then I'm going to open uh, a solid model file. It has been created in AutoCAD. Remember, in one of the records I demonstrated how uh, it is created in AutoCAD. And now say that, assume uh, the copies of this are needed. Okay, first study on um, rectangular array copy process. Well, in modify panel, find the array option, rectangular array, start the process. Indicate this entity as the reference entity, okay, to create it as copies. Press enter, and then yes, similar to 2D uh, case, in 3D case, well, array creation uh, ribbon will appear at the top. And you know AutoCAD uses its default configuration and uh, say offers four columns, three rows, okay, and then can change the values, not four columns, but say that ten columns. Press enter. Distance between them uh, is equal to uh, such a value, let's say, uh, and uh, the number of rows say that is six okay distance between the rows 120 that is it okay and then well you know uh, create the array as non-associative you know the advantage of defining and creating an array as non-associative well the members won't be dependent to each other only uh, the uh, members will be along rows and columns but independently well delete or in general speaking edit uh, one of them or some of them if it is non-associative of course yes and then click on uh, close array button yes you see in few seconds it is possible to create in 3D space as well, the identical copies. Now, to it is appearance, you see it is in rectangular form, rectangular shape. So it is called rectangular pattern, rectangular array. First exercise, I think is okay. Uh, save this file. Okay, uh, for today the fourth classwork or I do not remember the classwork number um, April 17 classwork uh, well show the address yeah sorry the address is over here in the folder this folder subfolder that's a subfolder and well call the memory on uh, the 17th of April uh, I said classwork classwork previous video record finally uh, how many classworks classwork 3 and um, this is about array copy process in the order the fourth classwork okay surname ID number Classwork for uh, April. No, classwork five. I see in the list. Uh, another file with the same name has been already created. So in the order, I see this is the fifth example about array copy process. The array copies. Okay, A about arrays. Uh, click on save button. Okay. And then demonstrate that well, uh, circular array, polar array uh, creation 
process is applicable well uh, say these are non-associative so I'm going to delete measure two of them uh, yes using windowing method observe the array in this direction okay select and push delete button and select those and click delete button and then yes in xy plane mark a center point well i'm going to mark the point which layer construction layer i selected construction layer and you know point marking facility expand drawing panel uh, well and then mark the point yes assume that i input the coordinates here is the point yes mark the point and then well it is uh, it's going to be the pivoting point about which to have the uh, the distribution or here in this example i'll simply mark the point it is the pivoting point but it might be a corner of a rectangular prism it might be uh, say the midpoint of an intersection it might be center point of uh, the edge of a hole etc but say whatever it is there is a point and about that point we need to create the copies of uh, the solid model okay um, at this stage system asks me where is the pivoting point be able to indicate this point so first enable the software to indicate nodes such a mark point is a node okay with a click I enabled my software um, say for to indicate uh, points and then start the copy process yes I forgot to finish the point creation process so well uh, by mistake I created one more point okay finish pressing escape button finish the uh, running and then well array copy but not rectangular array but polar array started the process and then well indicate this model press enter and system you see asking me on the center point of array indicate this one and yes you know the default configuration of software it offers six identic uh, members for such a family say that not six but twelve press enter and then yes uh, see the things three dimensionally you see now the members of the family you see is about this point and then you know don't click on associative button to make the members as independent from each other uh, rotate items if it is off sorry not this one but that one is off uh, then the orientations will be the same for instance right now see the things in this direction uh, rotate item is on this button is on make it off then you see well the uh, copies uh, will be in the same inclination orientation of the reference entity but if it is clicked on this then uh, well depending on the slope of the uh, the orientation of the uh, say the uh, circular path you see at the background there is a circle and you see the uh, the members uh, are radial oriented if this is on but if it is off then well uh, the orientation of the uh, copies will be the same that of the uh, reference model that is the function okay and I think that's it yeah well uh, polar array you see is applicable that process applicable in 3d uh, AutoCAD as well this is the uh, seven, uh, sixth class work clicked on close array button finish the execution and then yes polar array in AutoCAD save this file saying class work 
I think indoor there's I should say six and then for pet array I want to combine two things array copy how it is applied how the copies are created in the direction parallel to a curved line a path in general say it may, it may be a curved line 3d curved line okay obvious that I'm going to use this option pet array you know you're familiar what is pet array and how it is created from two-dimensional studying previous video record uh, I gave an I gave two examples about uh, pet array process or how a pet array is created I already answered this question in 2d environment but here 3d environment well uh, to be able to have a three-dimensional pet okay well I know in the memory of my computer there is an Excel data in the data I have X Y Z coordinates of the points okay these are all along the path along the curved line okay if of course there is such an Excel file instead of marking the points one by one in AutoCAD just start point marking process expand here point marking process and for each point write X Y values and if there is Z value okay click on click on and one more click on the tab key after writing the number uh, sorry not tab key but comma key okay write the number say that hundred okay click on comma into the other box write this number okay press enter and uh, um, sorry well uh, you know this yeah if the point is uh, the one it has X Y and also Z value into the boxes in 3d AutoCAD environment write the abscissa click on comma write the ordinate click on uh, write the ordinate okay 2000 let's say is the ordinate and then well uh, click on comma key uh, then yes there will be one more box and into the box can write the coordinate yes I started point marking process okay and then abscissa value comma ordinate value comma yes clicked on comma key and this is the altitude value for instance 4000 and then enter this is for having only one point and then for the other points write X Y Z values it is too long so well but or, or if uh, in an Excel file you have the points to their X Y Z values then see how yes it is possible to import an Excel data to AutoCAD well see how okay I, I'm going to close this file um, okay first prepare AutoCAD well it is going to be a new file uh, since it is 3d no need to 3d application no need to have paper simulation because uh, my purpose is to have the model first and at the view creation stage in 3d AutoCAD we use um, you, know, you know layout uh, environment and uh, at that stage have paper simulation so well uh, not my template it is for 3d purpose well started from here from the beginning I'm going to select an empty uh, template uh, from light background folder 
and uh, in accordance with ISO definition select this template and then say OK yes and then uh, to this environment I'm going to uh, invoke the points okay uh, from Excel data well first to be able to see the points now here the first part is really a valuable part it is not about array copy it is about how an Excel data can be imported to AutoCAD well there may be an Excel data okay uh, say it corresponds to points uh, and need to have the points in AutoCAD environment following years you're going to see some other examples while you're taking transportation calls for instance or say that using 3d AutoCAD okay uh, well uh, it is your working is on dam construction uh, you're going to uh, have uh, big data in Excel format and then well uh, invite the points to AutoCAD in one and deal with the rest now here answer how uh, I'm going to uh, bring the drop down menu bar you know how and then format this is a new template so I need to change the point style I drop the format uh, menu and then from the menu I selected point style option and you know in engineering drawing to mark the points we use tilted cross 5% ok reasonable but 2 may be better and then say ok yes save this file saying classwork in the order 7 yes the address is correct surname ID number classwork 7 for today it is April 17 and then well AutoCAD environment is ready to continue on the rest well this is the Excel file okay well in this uh, file there are three columns along the A column I have X values along the B column Y values along the C column Z values for the points how many points uh, are there to their coordinates in this file 18 points okay X Y Z if the Excel data is to be exported to AutoCAD then uh, well all generation software which is uh, AutoCAD requires the XYZ values within the same cell as separated with commas comma in inventor well uh, next video record uh, will be about uh, array copy and also how an Excel file can be imported to Inventor. I'm going to talk about such things in the next video record. In Inventor uh, environment, well, 3D Excel data can be directly imported. No need to create a new column, but in AutoCAD, yes, zoom in uh, to see the things in a greater size much more easily uh, well need to gather XYZ values into the same cell well I'm going to write instead of uh, doing the invoking for each uh, set 18 times in this example I'm going to use uh, the technique you know first I'm going to write the necessary string into the cell and then say that use the same string same formula for the others I think you remember such techniques uh, from at least uh, CNG 100 course okay well the expression to write into the cell to gather the numbers from this this and that into this new cell 
as separated with comma that is the expression equality symbol means you're going to write an expression equation and then well uh, you know in excel each cell is identified uh, with column letter row number for instance the id number for this cell is a1 id number for this cell is b5 okay now the expression to say that take the data from a1 capital a1 okay and then um, say a1 have and symbol to say a1 and um, well sorry well a comma is needed no well and symbol and then well uh, Quotation mark. Why? Because I know that the x, y, z values between them, a comma is needed. If you write any expression between quotation marks, then it is going to be directly printed, directly written. Quotation, comma, quotation. And then one more time, and symbol. And then say that a1, comma, and b1 and symbol and then write capital B1 okay and then quotation uh, and symbol is needed and quotation mark comma quotation mark uh, and then one more time say and and symbol C A1 and B1 and C1 yes that is the expression uh, as I remember, I think I wrote it correctly. Then press enter. Yes, great. You see, within the cell, what we have, we have x, y, z values as separated from each other. Well, to say that, apply the same string for the other sets. You know, after making a click into this, onto this cell, we find this dot at the lower right hand side corner. Hold it and drag the mouse along the column it is to say that use the same expression for the other cells other sets yes you see along this column now i have uh, x y z values for each set and then well this data is needed in autocad um, in autocad um, actually the layer is not uh, created yet at present, since it's a new template, I have AM00 and AM, AM0 layer, two layers only. Okay, there is no paper simulation, but here uh, I need to create uh, some layers. Clicked on this button and then in the uh, dialog box, managing dialog box, create a new layer. Say that uh, to have the um, construction line in this example construction line will be the line it corresponds to that excel data okay uh, name of the layer construction okay for construction layer I'm going to select from this uh, path red color continuous line and you know we uh, take the thickness of construction lines uh, in the order of 0 0.2 millimeters. Click on apply and then create a visible layer uh, or just for saving time I may use this facility. Drop this list and then select contour 1, 2, no not 1, 1 already uh, it is used for margin lines etc while well, select contour 2 with a click and then it is the uh, the uh, new layer it is now active rename it for instance the name of this layer is uh, to have the models of boxes so say boxes in this example line color uh, is brown it's okay line type correct line thickness as well and then say okay 
Yes, now, well, this uh, example, my purpose is to demonstrate first part how an Excel file can be imported to AutoCAD. Uh, and then, well, uh, the other part of my demo uh, about uh, path array process. Well, these two layers are sufficient uh, for this classwork. Okay, now, uh, as I said, uh, marking the points, okay, thereafter to do something uh, related with the points, uh, one by one to their x, y, z values using this point marking facility, multiple point facility, is too long. If, of course, at the background, uh, there is an Excel file. Excel file is over here. Okay, well, uh, to be able to import, export, import an Excel file, Excel data to AutoCAD, well, select uh, the sets along the column in which we have X, Y, Z values uh, as separated from each other uh, within the corresponding same cells. Okay, using windowing method, select all, right click, and then copy. Well, after starting copy process, turn back to AutoCAD in one, then uh, start the uh, uh, bring the cursor, bring the cursor. Uh, well, first start the point marking process. Click on this multiple point option start the process but do not uh, mark the points after starting point marking process bring the cursor to the comment bar and over there right click the mouse and click the paste button that is it and then press enter yes here are the points. 3D space, you see. Well, we have the points. If the purpose is to mark the points only, yes, start point marking process. Clear writing. But here my purpose is not to have the points only. I need to have the curve. It is fit to these points. Uh, one technique, of course, start the spline process. Okay, supply. And then one by one mark the, say, indicate the points. Of course, if node indication uh, allowance is, uh, has been done. And then bring the cursor snap, bring the cursor to the vicinity of the snap. While you're indicating the points, then the curve is fit in 3D space. It is possible, but it is relatively long. So, well, say, oops, instead of if your purpose not to mark the points, but to create the uh, curve, it is fit onto the points, then instead of starting point marking process, start line creation process. Well, yes, after saying copy in Excel environment, uh, say, come to the AutoCAD environment, and then, well, uh, start line creation process. I know that it is a curved line. Okay. So, uh, not straight, but curved. How you can know, by the way, say, uh, in Excel environment, you can test it. Well, there are some points. Well, for those points, what is the shape? For instance, only X, Y, Z values. Okay. Uh, use Excel uh, for curve plotting purpose. Excel is a powerful software, you know. Uh, well, I selected those uh, columns and uh, corresponding to the rows, and then I'm going to uh, say that um, um, view, not view, sorry, data insert. Yes, insert insert tab and then well from here curve fitting insert well what the curve you see after clicking on this listing arrow if i bring the cursor onto this option then immediately almost can see the relationship between x and y's 
The horizontal axis now is the uh, x axis and the vertical one y axis. Click and then see the relationship. Uh, from here, just tested that it is not a straight line. It is not horizontal, vertical, not inclined, but it is a curved line. Yes, you know this. Um, how about 3D set to see? Select this three columns and similarly say insert what? A curve. Okay. Yes, this one, well, the blue one is uh, XY plot, and the brownish one is the uh, other series, uh, what, BZ values, or select more scatter option, and then uh, from here, uh, select line, 3D bubble, smooth lines, scatter, uh, say smooth lines, and then say OK. You can see here, this is two-dimensional drawing, so see the uh, two-dimensional sets. This is x, y curve. This is z, uh, y, z curve. Okay? So on and so forth. Using the, uh, the power of Excel, after seeing that it is a curved line, then, well, select this uh, column in which I have x, y, z values, saying cop and then say using windowing method select all and then say right click copy and then in AutoCAD well start in that case in which layer in construction layer select construction layer uh, in this example the curve is to have in construction layer okay and start curved line creation process not straight line because I know that the corresponding curve is not straight I tested it in Excel. Clicked on Spline option and system saying that uh, write the x, y values for the first point. After writing the y value, you know, uh, if I clicked on one more time comma key, then there will be one more box to write the z value. No need. Although system asking me to write x, y, z, just bring the cursor to the command bar, right click the mouse and clicked on paste button. That is it. And then press enter. Finish. Have a look at where is the line. Line is over there. Yes, it looks like two dimensional, but it is not. Uh, orbit facility and then rotate. You see it is 3D. Okay, then. Well, after uh, having the curve, you see program at the background fit the spline onto the uh, the points okay and that is the procedure how an Excel file can be transferred to AutoCAD then well a quick demo why I had this curve I think the first part of this demo is okay I aim to educate you on such a thing how an Excel data can be imported to AutoCAD to mark the points to have the points in making such a transportation transferring start point process point marking process and in command bar right click the mouse say uh, paste but if you want to have the curve it is fit to the points then start line creation process if you know that it's a curved line using curved line creation tool supply okay bring the cursor thereafter uh, into the command bar right click and paste Okay, this part is okay, I think. And then, well, here the rest. Now, refocus your attention to array process, array copy, 3D array. Well, uh, I'm going to create a uh, box here, rectangle, 
I started rectangle creation process. Say that the first point is the corner of uh, uh, the box. You see, I'm creating the rectangle in this size. Okay. Uh, write the values uh, for the other uh, corner. Well, x value is positive. Say that 8 units. Click on comma key. And the y value, you see this rectangle is about to be created in the negative direction of y-axis. So write the uh, y value, delta y value is uh, negative. But if you create the rectangle in this direction, yes, write the y value positive. Okay, then, well, depending on the case, into the third box, write the number delta y value. Uh, since dynamic input is on, then it is going to be delta y. Delta y value is, or is say that, 10 units. Press enter. And after creating this rectangle, uh, then apply extrusion process. Uh, well, I'm going to have the boxes not in construction here, so uh, select this profile and then shoot it to the boxes layer. Yes, I changed the layer. And then apply extrusion process, indicate this rectangle as the region profile, press enter. And then yes, in this direction, in this direction, see the size of the box, write it and then have the box. Well, actually, it had to be created in boxes layer. Yes, now it is okay. And then yes, uh, I created one of the members of the path array. Here is the box. And then along this path need to have the others. Okay, path array. Drop this list and select path array creation process. System asking the available entity to create its copies. Bring the cursor and indicate it with a click and press enter key. And then system asking the path Indicate this line with a click, and that is it, almost. Well, along the curve, you see uh, AutoCAD offering uh, 40 items, 40 boxes. Okay? Well, uh, this means uh, 40 boxes can be created along the path. Okay? Taking the space between them to F. Okay? To be able to decrease the number of boxes... Then write a bigger number, for instance, not 12, but 24. Press enter. Then, yes, uh, I decrease the number of the boxes by 2. So on and so forth. Okay, say that uh, need to have 50 boxes. Uh, sorry, distance between them 50. No, not 50, but say 20. Okay. Have a look at, you see, the boxes are just following the path, 3D path. Can you see? Ah, here, uh, if this is off, align item button, then you see whatever the orientation of the first box is, then the orientation of the others will be the same. But if you clicked on align item button, then depending on the slope of the curve, the boxes uh, will be in the same relation uh, with the relation of the first box. Okay? And uh, you see here, Z direction button is on. This means follow the curve, not only in X, Y, but also Z direction. But if I make it off, then the boxes uh, will be will follow the path uh, only in x y directions. Okay. Well, since the curve is 3D, clicked on follow the curve. Uh, okay, in creating the copy of the indicated one, creating the family. In other words, uh, well, consider the uh, shape of the path in the z direction as well. Clicked on this. 
And of course, you know the recommendation, create the arrays as non-associative. Yes, and then click on exit button. You see, if you don't want to keep the construction line in the screen, you know, uh, select the other layers with a click and uh, turn the lamp off construction layer. Okay, then it will disappear from the screen. I hide it. Yes, okay. In AutoCAD, that is a 3D array facility in 3D environment. Okay, then save this file saying Classworks 8. And then next video record after the break, I'm going to demonstrate the things, okay, in Inventor. Talk about array uh, copy process to create the array in Inventor, my dear students. Okay, uh, if you ask me, the most valuable part of this uh, classwork is uh, on Excel data transferring, I can say. Stay healthy. After the break, see you again.